The next section here is bringing pages into the memory or into the RAM. Uh, accessing memory in HyperDBG uh, might sometimes uh, show uh, uh, that the address is unavailable, it's unvalid, uh, but we are sure that the target address is valid, uh, especially when we use the dot start command. Uh, this is uh, mainly uh, uh, this is uh, because uh, uh, mainly uh, Windows uh, don't uh, make every page uh, table available to the pro to the process. Like for example, some of the functions might uh, might uh, be valid and might be even available in the memory, but Windows might not uh, make it available into the target page tables of the target process. And as we are uh, viewing the memory from uh, from the uh, uh, CR uh, CR tree of the target process, so. Uh, we might miss miss it. But for example, we we might not notice that it's not uh, that it's available, and uh, we have to uh, let the Windows uh, page manager to bring uh, the page into the memory. In these cases, if we want to bring the page into the ma memory, we can use the dot page in uh, command. Uh, but uh, of course we should be cautious because the incorrect use of uh, this command is like injecting or or in other words it's like accessing an invalid uh, uh, memory address so it might result an exception and the exception might be handled by for example the SEH handler sometimes in the kernel it might cause uh, blue screen of death uh, or in uh, user mode processes, it might uh, cause crash. So we have to keep in mind that uh, uh, how we how we want to use this uh, command and uh, whether or target address is valid or not. Uh, with this uh, dot page in command, all the processes and all the target threads uh, resume. But uh, HyperDBG set a trap flag in the target uh, target thread, and only one instruction in the target process will be executed. So, for example, we could use some commands like that page in without any parameters, uh, specify a function address, uh, or we could use uh, that paging with some uh, with some error codes. We can specify the error codes for the page fault. Uh, uh, for example, UF in this example, I, I, I made a list of common error codes uh, that might be used uh, with this command. There are also other error codes that might be used as well, but these are the common error codes. For example, uh, the first one is like a page not found, uh, uh, W if you specify W instead of UF, for example, in the previous example. Uh, it it sh it uh, implies uh, once it's injected into the guest, it implies that there uh, there was a right access uh, fault or PW means that the page is not present and uh, the access was a right access fault or for example UF uh, which which is showed in the previous slide uh, means that a user address uh, instruction fetch both happens into the target process. Uh, to, to demonstrate how we can use this command, I made a simple application. Uh, this is a really simple message box, uh, uh, message box uh, application. You can find its source code uh, into the files be, uh, beside uh, the git repo. Uh, it's an x86 uh, application. Uh, I, I I simply uh, run it into in into the my into my target system. So it just shows a simple message box. Hello, HyperDBG. Uh, if uh, and there's nothing special about this uh message box, it's a simple text message box. Uh, no, if we want to run it by using the data start command, uh, here, uh, 
uh, once we reach to the target applications uh, entry uh, entry point uh we could see that uh if we want to put a for example breakpoint on the message box uh we could we, uh, the address is not valid so for example uh message box is located in uh user 32 dll and we are calling message box a but it said that uh, they couldn't resolve a uh, resolve error at this address. Let's see whether I set the uh, symbol pass. Yes, it's present. So I just have I have to reload the uh, uh, symbols for this special process. Uh, if we want to uh, see its module addresses, we could use this function. But keep in mind that this is a 32-bit application, so we need to reload the symbol for this spe uh, specific application. And here we can see that the user32 is also loaded. Uh, let's uh, reload the symbols for this application. And uh once it's done uh we could uh again access uh user to uh message box but be, but before that let's see it in uh, in the debugger we see it here now i click okay uh i want to start it again uh, uh, the same uh uh symbols as uh the previous loaded uh symbol uh is uh, remained into the system so i just uh use the does start command uh right into the entry point and again i put uh, a message box here uh i put a break point i uh want to see uh the memory disassemble the memory in the message box and as we can see here, it says that the address is invalid. But actually this address is valid, but Windows didn't bring it uh, or didn't page it in into the memory. Uh, or even if it's uh, already paged into the memory, uh, the entries of the page table for this uh, <clears throat> process still won't show a valid address for this uh, user module. So, I can simply uh, use the dot page in command. Most of the time, you don't need to specify any other options. Uh, only that paging without any uh, argument works. So I use uh, user to uh, message box A, and it's not uh, case sensitive. So I run this command and it said, that the page vault is de delivered to the target. Now we have to press G and uh, uh, one instruction or this jump instruction will be executed. A trap flag is automatically uh, set in this process. So I just press G and after that, uh, we, are, uh, we, we execute one instruction, we are here. Uh, no, again, uh, if we want to check the uh, message box A, uh, we can see that uh, now the address for this message box is valid. So we could easily put some breakpoints here. and continue the debugging and as you can see uh, the target breakpoint is executed and uh, we are in the uh, simple message box uh, project uh, and uh, in this function uh, another thing to keep in mind is that uh, once uh, you use a U, uh, sometimes this is a 32-bit application. So if we use U here, uh, the debugger show us a warning message that the target seems to be located in a 32-bit program. 
so in this case we have to use uh, u32 to show the actual the, to, to uh, use the 32 bit disassembler so uh, instead of using u i uh, use u32 or u2 both of them are the same and it shows the target disassembly in uh 32 bit format or the or with the 32 bit assembler uh actually it is here yeah this this is the correct 32 bit format uh, uh of the uh of the target function and uh as you can see, we are on a uh, 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 user 32 W version or WO64 version of user 32. Yeah, that's it. Let's go back to the slides.